just one of your many toys. So today we're starting off with moisturizer and primer and we're going to be using the Morphe 35C eyeshadow palette. It's full of super bright colors. I'm going to be taking this red color and I'm applying it above my crease for the red eye. Just blend it out really well. Um, I'm starting off with a super glam look and this is a good look that you could just wear every day um, if you don't want to get too dressed up for the Suicide Squad movie you could just do this glam part or it's just good for even cosplay whatever you want to do with it I just wanted to make two different versions for people just blend that red above your crease and into your crease a bit I wanted this to be super dramatic, so add as much as you want. Then I'm going to be taking this bluish color and I'm mixing it with the aqua color and I'm doing it for the blue eye. I like to blend my eyeshadow up to my eyebrow on the inside and then have it go down on the outside towards the end of my eyebrow. And that's just what I personally like to do when I'm doing a dramatic look. It just gives for some emphasis. Now I'm just taking the red and putting it on the lid and I'm going to be doing the same with blue. Bring it all the way down to your lid. Then I'm taking this darker teal color and I'm putting it in my crease. I'm doing a lot of definition and drama for this look so I'm going to be doing a few colors on each eye. Do it in your crease and not on your lid. Then I'm taking this dark berry color and I'm doing the same thing for the red eye. I'm taking the Urban Decay Electric Palette and I'm using this bright blue color, I believe it's called Chaos, and I am putting that in my crease, it's just a super super bright yet dark blue. I love it so much. And I'm putting that into my crease and bringing it all the way towards the center of my eye or the beginning of my eye, I guess. If you get fallout, just brush it away with a powder brush. This is why I do my eye makeup before I do my foundation. That way I don't mess up my foundation whatsoever. Now I'm taking this berry color again, mixed with a little bit of a brown and a gray, and I'm putting that in my crease, and that's going to act as the darker color for my red eye. It's all about blending, so if you need to, just take a fluff brush with no color on it and blend it out. Taking some color correcting concealer, I'm going to be applying purple in darker areas on my face, and I'm going to be applying the yellow on the red areas of my face. I did a little bit more color than normal because I want to be extra, extra pale for this, so I did a little bit more yellow and a little bit more purple than I usually would just to cancel out any color. I wanted it to be super white. Now I'm taking NYX's Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation in a creamy neutral? Creamy natural. And I'm going to be applying this all over my face. This is actually really white. Um, and it actually matches my skin tone on my face perfect, but the skin tone on my chest and the rest of my body is a little bit darker that's one, that's, than what's on my face. So I usually use something a little darker for my foundation, but Harley is super white, so... Now I'm taking the salmon color and the color correcting concealer palette from NYX, and I'm applying that where my bags are at underneath my eyes. 
Doing this fixes my bags so much. I have really dark circles, so it really, really helps a lot. You can see the comparison once I'm done with this eye right here. It just is such a big difference. And then I just take my concealer, which I'm using NYX's Above and Beyond Concealer in Porcelain, and I am just applying that underneath the eyes. I'm also using this as my highlighting concealer, so I'm going to be applying it on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. I'm going to be taking a damp beauty blender with some setting spray mist it onto it and blending that out and then I'm taking NYX's white eyeshadow base and I'm applying that towards the center of my eyeshadow towards the centers corners of my eyes sorry I can't talk today apparently and then I'm going to be blending that out with my finger just to blend it in with the eyeshadow a little bit I'm going to do it for the same thing for the red eye This just helps brighten up the color a little bit there. I'm just gonna put some blue back on top of it and some red back on top of the other one. I just feel like it helps brighten it up a little bit in the corner there. Then we're gonna start doing some glitter. I am taking Too Faced's uh, Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue and some NYX glitter. I'm first applying the glitter glue down on my lid and I'm just doing half of the lid at a time because this stuff dries really fast. And then I'm applying the glitter with a brush. I'm packing it on there, don't swipe it, just pack it really lightly. And then add more glue as you go. This stuff is basically latex, I do think it has some latex in it. Not 100% sure, but latex would work if you don't have glitter glue. I'm just packing it on into the corner of my eye. Don't take it all the way to the end of your eye. We're going to be doing eyeliner down there, so um, there's really no point. The eyeliner would just cover the glitter. Now I'm going to be taking Anastasia's Moonchild Glow Kit, and I am taking Star and Blue Moon. Oh, Pink Heart, sorry, for the red eye. And then I'm doing Star and Blue Moon for the blue eye. And then I'm doing um, Blue Moon for the highlight underneath my brow and Pink Heart for the highlight underneath of my brow for the red eye. And then I'm taking NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean and I'm lining my waterline and I'm bringing it up on the top of my lid a little bit because I'm going to be smoking that out and making it a little messy up there. Taking the red, I'm going to drag it out on the bottom a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing for the blue eye. I'm just going to take the blue and drag it out on the bottom as well. And then taking some black shadow, I'm going to really just start smoking that corner of my eye out and kind of creating a wing somewhat. Nothing too crazy. I am going to go back over it with liquid liner, but I'm going to drag it out somewhat. And then I'm also going to take it into the crease above the glitter just to give some drama and definition. And you can keep your cat eye like this if you just want to do some shadow or you can just go ahead and add your liquid liner like I did. I'm also taking some black and dragging out the waterline as well. You can take red and blend this out some more if the black is looking too harsh or on the blue side as well. Just take some blue shadow and really smoke that black line you created out on the top um, if it just looks too harsh or like it, if it looks like it's not blending too well. That's the trick to blending It's just going back and forth, back and forth. Now I'm doing my liquid liner. I'm using Illa Masca. 
And I'm just doing something really simple. I'm not trying to go too, too dramatic. I didn't want to lose the smokiness that I did with the shadow. So I'm just filling in the corner and doing a little bit of a wing. Now add your lashes. Next, we're gonna contour. I'm using Lorac Cosmetics Pro Contour Palette. And since this is a glam look, I am going all out. I am doing a super dark and deep contour. You don't have to, but this is just what I prefer on most days in general anyways. Contour your cheekbones, contour your jawline, and contour your forehead. I brought my contour down on my forehead a little bit because I am gonna be wearing a wig. And also contour your nose if you want to. Another thing that I always like to do is contour the bottom of my bottom lip. This just helps me look like I have bigger lips, helps you look like you have poutier lips. And then I'm gonna highlight with blue ice on the blue side and I'm gonna highlight with pink heart on the red side. And for highlighting my nose and my cupid's bow and my chin, I am using the color star. Some color in the middle. And next we're going to fill it in our lips. I am using Kat Von D's liquid lipstick in Outlaw. It's the perfect shade of red, it's super matte. As you can see, I have scars on my lip right there. That's because I used to have spider bites, but I took them out when I got my cheeks pierced. So sometimes it looks like my lipstick is messed up, but it's not. I just have scars on my face. And give me one minute to turn into a magical blonde babe. And there's the glam portion. I didn't want to do the tattoos or anything. I just wanted to leave it really simple and glam. It could be a total everyday look. Wherever you want to go, whatever you want to do, you can change the colors, you can be Harley, do what you want. Next, we're going to be turning into the beaten up, grungy, dirty version of Harley. We need to pin those little hairs back so they don't get in the way. And I'm going to show you what products I'll be using. I'm using Mayron's Paradise Paints, the red one. Um, I'm using that for the scar or the cut on her forehead. And then I'm also going to be using Mayron Paradise Paints in black. This is going to be for the tattoos, and I'm using some little tiny brushes to accomplish both of those things. Also, I'm using Makeup Forever's uh, flash colors. They're just like grease paints, basically. They're really good for like bruising, um, anything like that. And we're looking at making her look bruised today, so. But first, we're going to drag the color down. I'm taking the blue from the electric palette, and I'm just dragging it down and making it look super messy and watered out. Watered out. Whatever. Like, she got done fighting in the rain, and it's just a huge mess, and her makeup's running. I even made it a little bit messier there in the corner. And then I'm going to be taking the red shadow and doing the same thing for the red eye, making it look super messy and dramatic. You can make it as dark as you want. You can do as many streaks as you want. You can take it as far down your face as you want. Make it your version. And now I'm going to be taking the black paint. I like to mix my paints with Max Fix Plus. You can just use water though. And I'm just going to be taking this little brush and I'm going to write rotten on my face. You can use liquid liner too. That's what I've done a couple times, but honestly, the paint's just so much easier. But of course, if you don't have paint, just use liquid liner. And create a cute little heart. I do believe she has these tattoos on the right side of her face. Now I am taking brown, black, and gray shadow and I'm just messing up her face like she just got the shit beat out of her. Put it by your eyebrows, put it on your nose like you got a broken nose, put it on your jawline. She has a big one on her chest. Put it all over the place. And now I'm taking red paint and I'm creating just a basic line for the cut on her forehead and you can blend it out by tapping it a little bit. 
And then I'm taking purples and reds from this flash color palette and I am putting it around the cut to make it look irritated. And I'm also going to be taking the purple and the reds and putting them all over the places where I applied the shadows to make it look extra bruised and more colored. Bruises aren't just like gray and brown. They are purple and red and got some color to them. I really wanted her to look like she's got like a broken nose or something too. So I defined the area around my nose. In a picture I saw, she has a really dramatic bruise on her chest. So I wanted to make that pretty dark and purple too. Just blend it out with your finger. It's super simple and easy. I would suggest putting a translucent powder on top of it though if you are going to go out with this look. That way it doesn't smear anywhere. Now I'm taking scab blood and I'm putting it right there on top of that cut. I used a paper clip, but you should use a q-tip or a brush. I just didn't have one available for this at the time, so. Then I'm just putting some lipstick back on and I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to smear it down and make it look super messy. Just tap it out so it gets a little blurred and put it around your lips so it just looks a little extra messy. And ta-da! You're a crazy psycho, beaten up, dirty, grungy Harley. Like you just got done getting into a fight. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I had to remake it to make it awesome. I did a version before, didn't like it too much. So here's a awesome version that I actually do like. Please subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoyed this and stay tuned for the next look. Thanks guys.